Hello again YouTube from the engine cave. Now the Ford ZTEC engine well had exhaust ports are nearly done. Maybe some finishing, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, uh, I have ported the heads the way I like to port them. And now you can you can see what the port looks like. Nice constant radius from the port floor into the valve, into the seat area. And the port floor to the port wall is now constant. Constant radius from here to here and then next radius from here up to the port divider. And from the valve guide it's straight path now. There's not a bumps in the middle like like on the original head. And I have raised the roof not entirely up to the old EGR pipe port that these castings have. It's a remnants from the design era when the head was were designed and some of the early escorts had EGR pipes coming from the exhaust. I don't know about the newer ones. I I don't have a clue, but some of the early ones had had the port had the EGR ports here and that's why there's this cutout. And like I said in a previous video, you can make the divider sharp if you want to. But I usually leave it round in the middle because there's there's no point, it doesn't affect flow that much. And this sharp ridge on the divider comes naturally from here from the rounding of the roof of the board. And same let me see if it gets better light. Whoa, right. You can kind of see it in in here on the floor as well. It's not as prominent because it's it's not too much material cut away from here. Mostly from the radius in here because it's pretty thick in here. And I slightly deport these short sides from all my heads. So this radius on the corners they are smaller than the all round radius of the port. This helps some of the slower flow on the roof uh, I mean on the floor of the port. It makes the floor of the port seem longer than it is and it gets the flow uniform on the entire short side radius of the port compared to the roof. So this is the <coughs> sorry this is the completed port shape and I might might go go and take a flapper disc and or flapper wheel and smoothen out the port some maybe it's not necessary because it's going to be covered in shoot anyways it doesn't matter how well you polish the port, it's always going to be black, covered in soot, and uh, there's going to be some residue on the ports either way. And when there's there's a bad flow part of the port, when there's no fl not enough flow, it's going to gather some carbon deposits there, but it doesn't matter. It's natural filling of the port so to speak and on the turbo engines you you don't get much carbon build up on the ports anyways because there's enough flow volume and exhaust heat to clear out the carbon deposits if you don't drive like a grandma then then the ports will be fine all the way up to the turbine housing so but if you have any questions about the 
head porting put them down in the comments and subscribe and if you're new I have all kinds of different videos in my channel from RC helicopters to engine building and air gun stuff and shooting related stuff but yeah and anyways if there's something some subjects that you are more interested about my filming and making videos please put them down in the comments because I tend to do this stuff that people see what I do on my spare time and what my hobby stuff is and some of the machining that I do for for customer work but yeah it's always interesting to know what you guys want to see and your opinions about the things I do and and I'm pretty immune to the comments in that that way that I I don't get offended about the comments if they are uh, if you have a proper comment about something that I have done wrong or differently that you do I don't get offended by it but if you just say ah it's crap of course I get offended about that because you cannot you cannot um, what's the word you cannot explain me why it's crap if you just say it's crap it's your opinion nothing more if you have no other thing to say that ah you're crap you suck well go ahead and say it but it's not very polite to say that out loud but if you have a comment that I do this wrong because of this and that and you can explain to me why I'm doing wrong and what is that I'm doing wrong that is that's always creative commenting and that is something that I would like to see more on the channel but enough ranting about that I'll start start with the intakes next time actually I did some rounding of the short side while the head was in this position I had, and I had a suitable tool in the rotary tool so only only small small start on that one because there is a nice ridge in here on the short, short side of the intake runners and all sorts of ginks and lips and casting imperfections but more on that on the next video and you all stay safe and have a nice day bye